Hello and welcome back to another Percy HD video. Today we have another career mode tutorial episode, if you like, or just video in a large collection of them to come. Either way, this one is on how to sign regens and new gens, or how to find regens and new gens via scouting. Of course, the global transfer network means that finding regens and new gens has seemingly become quite more difficult um because well it's harder to find them because you can't search overall by rating by age as such in a certain team and they've become harder to find purely because of the fact that they don't stay in the same team anymore they go to a random team in the same league so I will repeat, same league, not nation. Either way, this is how you do it most effectively. Here in my Melbourne City Test career mode, I have scouted quite a few players. Um, and I'll be showing you the basics and the best parameters to set when scouting players. So let's get rid of Cater, and here are a few regens and new gens that I've scouted down. Here is Del Pratt, a very, very good 20-year-old 73 rated midfielder. Would be great in a, <clears throat> say, a newly promoted side to the Premier League. If you're doing a road to glory, this sort of player would be perfect if you just reached the Premier League. Just to note, I am in 2017 July, so I am back in the transfer window. And I've got quite a lot of money to work with, so I will be doing the simple basics here. Let's go over the beginning. Let's go over the squad statuses. If they are under 23, they will have a status. Either of has potential to be special, an exciting prospect, or showing great potential. Or, of course, at the club since. Blah, 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 blah. If it says at the club since, and they're under 23, they have no good potential over 80. So leave them. If they have a showing great potential, then that's 80 to 85. Roughly an exciting prospect 85 to 90 roughly has potential to be special is 90 and beyond They are the basics most of you already know that but for those who don't they're the basic squad statuses and All you literally have to do once you find these players is Scout them see what their ratings are see what their values are but then the hardest part is signing them. You can see that although his value is quite low, he is going to be one of the most expensive 77 rated players on the game. You're going to have to really hustle to get him for under 10 million, which seems really quite unfair for such a low rated young player who could end up not growing if you're not careful. But again, this is another great example. He looks like an awesome player, no doubt about that. He's a crucial first team player in his Lazio team and he's only 19. This is Minotto Brighi. He's slightly worse, slightly easier to get, but still it's a hard tussle under 5 million. You see these players are very very good, but it's definitely difficult to get them. Most regens and new gens that you find, if they have stats similar to that, then you'll know they're good. I mean, you can see a lot of green stats in there, especially in his physical. A lot of the regens and new gens' physical stats are good. Not the Youth Academy players, their physical stats are bad. A lot of the physical stats on the regens and new gens are very, very good. Of course, the other way that I find new gens is doing it manually. So, for example, Ibrahimovic. You know he's retired by now. Let's do it manually. Let's go attacking. Let's set the nationality to Sweden when we find them. Swedish nationality, or oh, should have gone the other way. Sweden, there we go. Let's go to the Leisure Un and let's search. Here, oh my god, well that messed up my theory, didn't it? Latin Ibrahimovic hasn't retired, he's still there. Okay, someone who's definitely retired would have been Didier Drogba. So let's do the same thing, but this time with Cote d'Ivoire. So let's select Ivory Coast. Go to the Premier League, where he plays currently for Chelsea, of course, and such. We have one new gen here. He is with Manchester United. He's loan listed. You see his stats. They're quite good, right? You know that he is Drogba simply 
from the fact that he's the only Ivory Coast young striker that looks incredibly good of his age. He is playing in the same league and there is not many others surrounding him of the same nationality. You look at where he can play. Striker. That's the only position Drogba can play on the game. That is the only thing which stays the same about the player. His position and his nationality. Nothing else stays the same. Everything else changes. Don't think, right, Drogba's slow in real life now. He won't have, he won't be quick on here. That's all bullshit. Of course, new gens are slightly different. They're totally randomly generated. Sometimes, if you're lucky enough, you will find some on the free agents who are class. But if not, then you will have to scout. Of course, they're not any... They're not on any online database. They make your career mode your own. They make your career mode unique to you. And this is what's important about career mode because some of them, trust me, they're talented. And you can pull some amazing players from the region, from the new gen section. So my best recommendation is simply this. Set everything, set your instruction to any position, promising, contract of zero to five, and really, I'd set it to 23 maximum. I shouldn't have really set it there. But of course, any older players won't be as promising anyway. So that doesn't really matter. Scout them, find out their overall, see whether they're any good. Of course, do this all in advance. Make sure that you've got this ready for the transfer window. So you can see the biggest problem when attempting to sign them themselves is that most of them would have recently joined the club. So you might have to wait till January or even till the next season to have any chance of signing them. Of course, if you're in 2023, you'll have no problem signing some of the older new gens who are now 23, 22 years of age. They would have not just recently joined. You might even be able to get someone for them on the pre-contract. But just for example, I will, in my Everton career mode, sign Mpassi, he cost me £9 million. He's 75 rated, but he's only 19. He's from Bayern Munich and he has potential to be special. So you're really not paying for your product, you're paying for your finished product. Well, not quite really. You're paying for your potential. Um, of course, when he reaches that potential, he'll be worth 50, 60 million and you can make insane profit. So it's also a profit making technique. But apart from that, I'm just telling you that it's vital that you look into these players. Trust me, it's really relieving. It's really, really nice to be far enough into career mode to see new gens and to get some really unique players that nobody else has and say, I nurtured this player. I made him 90 plus rated and this is your best opportunity at it. So I really do hope this tutorial helps. If it did, make sure you drop a like below. I would really, really appreciate it. That's me, Pricey HD, and I will see you next time.